when you dance, hold your baby tight. Ooh, da di da. Ooh, da di da. It's romance if you hold it right. Ooh, da di da. Ooh, da di da. Take a chance, keep your gal in sight. Ooh, da di da. When you dance, hold your baby tight. Ooh, da di da. It's romance if you hold him right. Ooh, da di da. Take a chance, keep your guy in sight. Okay, so you're booking a table. It's quite intimidating in Italian to do it over the phone. You can't read someone's eyes or use hand gestures. This is how it's gonna sound. I'm gonna play both parts. The part of you, the polite little uh, foreigner trying to get a good table, and the part of the often cranky, rushed restaurateur uh, waiter who is just like, oh, che pale, like another tourist just trying to make a, uh, a mess of this language. So uh, let's, let's go, ready? <coughs> Do, 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 do. Brr, 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 brr. First, you'll hear, Si pronto? Pronto is just like, yeah, I'm on the line, okay? And you might feel like you want to say ciao, but this is too colloquial. It's better to just say buonasera. Buonasera is, uh, even though it translates in English as good evening, initially you can use it anytime, I would say after 12 p.m. And if you're calling a restaurant before 12 p.m., there's going to be no one picking up. So this is uh, probably your best shot at starting the call with a nice, polite, si, buonasera. Vorrei prenotare un tavolo per stasera. Vorrei, I would like, prenotare, to book, un tavolo, a table, per stasera. Per stasera. For tonight. Per domani sera. For tomorrow night. Per domenica sera. Sunday night. Per domani a pranzo. Domani a pranzo. Tomorrow lunchtime. You might hear, quanti siete? That means how many of you are there. So you can just say, due, quattro, da sola, for a female alone, da solo, per, uh, for a male alone. Uh, or you could say the full phrase, which would be, siamo in due, siamo in quattro. There are, there, there are two of us, there are four of us. Next question. A che ora? Quando? What time? When? Keep in mind, initially, uh, they often use 24-hour time, so if you're wanting to book for 8 or 9, it's actually going to be 20 or 21, so you will hear alle 20, or you will say alle 20. I always say to my friends when they holiday in Italy, try to make your dinner reservation as late as possible because all the tourists are in the time slot, uh, you know, around 6, 7 uh, p.m., and the Italians will generally eat around 9, 9.30, even 10. So it's, it's much nicer to be surrounded by Italians, locals, and, uh, and, you know, rather than like tourists who are really tired and weary and perhaps fighting because they've been trudging around a hot city all day. Uh, but the thing is, the guy taking your, your, your prenotazione will try to put you in that tourist slot, like the 6, 7 p.m. slot, okay? You gotta hold your ground because you deserve to have the good time slot and you can do it. Linguistically, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna help you do it. So when you say alle 20, which would be at 20, at 20, which is 8 p.m., he might come back to you and say, va bene alle sette mezza? Va bene, is it okay? Alle sette at seven e mezza, 30, 7.30. Be like, damn you, don't put me in the tourist slot. I want to get closer to the local time slot. So you can say, non avete niente più tardi? Don't you have anything a little later? Più tardi? Later? Non avete niente più tardi? 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 He might say, no, mi spiace. No, mi dispiace. Okay, this is sorry. No, mi dispiace. Okay, this might be a prime time to teach you about vabbè. Vabbè is an abbreviation of va bene, it's okay. Okay, but vabbè is used more when you're saying, like throwing up your hands and saying, fine, fine, whatever, okay, I tried. It's when you're sort of conceding defeat, okay? If you're like, if you, you, you're trying to convince someone of something and, uh, and you just got to agree to disagree and you're like, ah, oh, vabbè. You know, I'll do it anyway. So in this case, you could say, Vabbè, facciamo alle sette mezza. Vabbè, facciamo alle sette mezza. Okay, which means, ooh, 
bells, which means, uh, fine, uh, let's do 7.30. Facciamo, let's do, alle sette mezza, at 7.30. They will say, nome, your name, don't give your real name. I always give Francesca, okay? Francesca is a nice, clear Italian name that they can understand. And uh, if you're trying to spell out like, hey, we're Kathy and Bill, no, it's not gonna work. And then you'll just get mixed up. Just use Francesca. It works every time. <laughs> the next thing you will hear is they wanna take your number, right? But it won't sound like numero or numero di telefono, which is what I was first waiting for when I when I first moved to, to Italy, what you will hear is un ricapito, un ricapito, ricapito. You're like, what's this? Okay, this is uh, what I have found is more commonly used than someone asking for numero di telefono. You probably don't have a, a number and even if you did, like what's the point? They're gonna call you and it'll be a disaster. You won't even be able to understand what they're saying. So you could say non ce l'ho. I don't have one. Non ce l'ho means I don't have one of whatever was referenced before, okay? So uh, if you could say, uh, do you have a car? Uh, no, non ce l'ho, I don't have one, okay? So in the, 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 the example of the uh, telefono, they'll be like, un recapito? Ah, non ce l'ho, mi dispiace, I'm sorry. I don't have one, I'm sorry. And then if you're a, a people pleaser like me, uh, you could just add, Però veniamo di sicuro. We're definitely coming though, okay? But we're definitely coming. Però veniamo di sicuro. Uh, and then you could also add, if you really want to sort of establish a bit of banter and he doesn't seem too uh, impatient to get off the phone, you could say, mi hanno parlato molto bene di voi. Mi hanno parlato molto bene di voi. Mi hanno, they have, parlato, spoken, molto bene, very well, di voi, about you plural, you guys. So it's kind of like saying, hey, we're really looking forward to this. Uh, you've come highly recommended. Uh, the, the, the subtle polite threat there is, don't put me in a table by the bathroom. Per favore. Okay, we're almost finished. You're almost done. You're so proud. You've done a whole conversation on the phone in Italian. How are you going to close this call? Okay, you could just close it with, you're thinking you're going to say ciao again. Forget ciao. It's not, it's not uh, necessary here. You can just say a nice polite, Grazie, arrivederci, okay? Grazie, thank you, arrivederci. Goodbye. Uh, then you'll probably hear something like, okay, grazie, a dopo, a dopo, which means I'll see you later. And then you close it, and then you just say, I'm so proud. And then you also might say, oh, but I don't actually remember what they said. So I, I would suggest putting your phone on speaker so that if there's anyone else in the room, you know, they, you can sort of confer with them and say, did, did he say eight o'clock or nine o'clock? Um, and uh, that's uh, one of the, the joys of <laughs> doing, a, doing a reservation in another language. It's, it's not only hard to articulate yourself, but then you've also got to listen and understand what they're saying, which will be super fast because they're always in a rush, right? But, but you can do it. You can do it. You just got to listen out for those little keywords. Don't worry about the whole phrase. It's just the keywords like recapito. It's like recapito is okay, they want a phone number, or quanti, quanti is how many, so how many of you are there, oh, oh, I forgot, oh my gosh, most important thing, most important thing, do you want to sit inside or out, okay, this is next level stuff, but it's so important, right, because you're in Italy, of course you want a table outside, so you might say, dentro o fuori, dentro, inside, o fuori, outside, another way to say outside is all'aperto, all'aperto, you might not even get a choice. I mean, really, if you, you're sounding like a tourist, they're just going to stick you inside. They're not going to give you the prime table out in the piazza overlooking the Duomo and everything. So you will have to ask for it, which would sound like... <clears throat> Sarebbe possibile trovare un tavolo all'aperto? 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 Would it be... Sarebbe possibile possible, trovare, to find, un tavolo, a table, all'aperto, in the outside section of your restaurant. Yes, and then he'll be like, ah, oh, okay, you've tried so hard with that beautiful phrase, even using the conditional, sarebbe, you deserve a table, all'aperto, you deserve it, lo meriti. <laughs> uh, okay, 
I'm exhausted, mainly because it's so hot and this light keeps changing, Manaja. Uh, but I hope this helps you, and I hope you get a table <laughs> at the time you want, and you actually show up at the time that is agreed. Uh, good luck, it's all a part of the fun, isn't it? And if you actually go into the restaurant and you haven't made a booking, and you just find it by chance, and you think, oh my gosh, we have to eat here, it's so cute. You might go in and they will say to you, avete prenotato? Avete prenotato? This is, have you, plural, you guys, prenotato, booked. You can say no, but there still might be hope. There still might be hope, you just have to wait a little bit. And this will sound like, dovete aspettare? Dovete aspettare? You have to wait? Birds interrupting my filming. Dovete aspettare dieci minuti. You guys uh, will have to, dovete, aspettare, wait, dieci minuti, ten minutes if you're lucky, or una mezz'ora, okay, uh, half an hour, una mezz'ora. In which case you could say, oh yeah, yeah, si, 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 okay. Uh, possiamo aspettare, possiamo aspettare, we can wait. Yeah, you can wait, right? Just go get a little aperitivo or something. I take a little stroll around the piazza. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Um, could you give this video a thumbs up because it, it really helps me out and I've been trying to work really hard for you and putting out multiple videos per week, which is uh, doesn't leave much time for sleeping or anything else, but I'm, I'm loving it. I'm so motivated and inspired because so many of you are also supporting me on Patreon and uh, it's just it's just great. I mean, the the more people come on, the, the faster I can get you videos. I can get you videos out every, every few days Days, which yeah is hopefully what you enjoy <laughs> and 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 it's actually been sunny and raining so it's been really hard to shoot um, don't forget to subscribe click the little bell so you know when I'm posting and also uh, I will put some little videos here to give you some inspiration if you're planning to holiday in Italy or move to Italy and uh, yes what else what else nothing I really really appreciate your support. I feel like I have the, the sweetest community. It's small, but you're all just super high quality humans. <laughs> so thank you for uh, watching. And Mano, it's raining again. Okay, it's raining. I've got to turn off the camera. I love you. Bye. <laughs> when you dance, hold your baby tight. Ooh, da -de -da. Ooh, da -de -da. It's romance. If you hold it right, ooh da -de da ooh da -de da take a chance, keep your gal inside, ooh da -de da <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>